Hey everyone, welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you guys uh, about the Clip Studio Paint's workspace. Uh, so typically, by default, this is what Clip Studio Paint looks like. It has this whitish, um, bright uh, workspace. And for a lot of people, it, it, uh, it hurts their eyes working with something so bright. So typically, we open up a new canvas and this is what it looks like. And so, if you ever wanted to change it to uh, a darker theme, you do that by uh, coming up here to uh, Clip Studio Paint. Um, the drop down I don't know about Windows but on, on a Mac you, it's on the drop and you hit preferences and you go to here where it says interface and so you have this uh, light color and this slider here where you can adjust how how light it is or how uh, how dark it is um, you also have a dark color so you can go uh, really dark or like a, a lighter shade of dark. I typically like right there in the middle. And so I hit OK. And then so now my workspace is uh, dark themed. And it's it works better for me uh, it, instead of staring at something really, really bright. Another thing is, is if you guys have ever um, seen these uh, windows here disappear on you by because you hit the mouse a wrong way or you hit a key on the keyboard and it made it go away um, the way to get it back um, really simple you just go to the windows drop down you go to workspace and you reset to default when you hit reset to default everything will be back like it was before another thing you can do with the workspace uh, that works for me anyways is I've noticed that I've worked more in a vertical manner than I do a horizontal manner. Um, so most of my work is uh, vertical. And so I noticed that I have a lot of empty space here in the gray. Um, so why not make use of it? So one way I make use of it is uh, over here on where the layers are. Uh, usually I have a lot of layers and I used to scroll uh, because it was had a small space here because it's under the navigation window so what I did was I moved it I just you just click and drag uh, and you can put it right next to your navigation window and you can adjust you don't need your navigation window to be that big but you can see here that um, I'll, you probably could delete two layers so you can probably get 19 layers uh, I have uh, this is a 1080p 22 inch display and I, I can get about 19 layers uh, without scrolling so so that that's one way I set up my workspace another uh, way I, I set it up is um, on the other side so I have all these uh, tools here and some of these tools have uh, other sub tools within them and so they require scrolling too so I figured you know I have uh, dead space on my left also why not do the same uh, on the left side so what I did was I just uh, simply dragged one of the the windows it didn't matter the same way I did the other side and now I have them side side by side now I don't have to do any dragging now there's also a lot of dead space underneath that uh, s new column. So you can do two things. You can uh, put it next to it and create three columns, but that starts to become too much. Uh, so if you hover over it, you can create as a new tab. So now it's in the same column, but there are two different tabs. I, I typically don't like that because I like to see the tools out in front. So. I drag it down here to the bottom and now they're stacked one on top of the other and I make my color wheel a little bit bigger uh, not that big about yay big it doesn't seem to get any bigger as, as I drag it further than that so that typically works out best for me um, because uh, I don't work horizontally most of the time or in a landscape kind of mode 
I'm more mostly working this way so uh, maybe that that can work out for you guys but as soon as you quit clip studio paint I'm sure this workspace setup will go away so what you want to do is come over here to uh, register your workspace and you simply just give it a name I'm just gonna give it uh, my name here wire hit OK and so now this workspace setup is saved for me every time so I can reset the default and it'll go back to how the default was set up and then I can go back to oh and so you you can see that it's you'll have to do a lot of scrolling if you have a lot of uh, raster layers there so you could always just go back and reset wire and it'll go back to my my uh, the way I prefer to set up my workspace and so you can set up multiple profiles if multiple people use uh, Clip Studio Paint and every person ha likes to set up their stuff how they like to do it. Um, and also so uh, when you close out Clip Studio Paint and if it goes back to the default, uh, you can always just open up your profile. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, give it a thumbs up if uh, you found it helpful and uh, I will see you guys in the next one.